Legacy 8 here at Newry Sports Centre. We have a pack card of action. And we are now in the lightweight division. We have Kestis, the bestest, or Kestis, Estevia Javis. We're going to go with Kestis, the bestest, I think. Taking on Rhinos, Solomon Simon. Your referee is Mr. Johnny Shields. This is Noel O'Keefe in commentary. We are underway. So Kest walking in straight away. Trying to close the distance. Simon just brushes it off. Nice inside leg kick. Solomon Simon is in the blue shorts and Kess is in the black shorts. Heavy, heavy leg kick by Solomon Simon. Goes high. Ooh, an unlucky wheel. A wheel kick thrown there by Kess. He gets in on the body lock. Looks for that trip and Solomon Simon's shown good strength. It. Keep it up. Nice wide base. Strong, heavy knee into the thigh of Solomon Simon by Kests. It's the battle for position now at the minute. Again, this is something you see regularly in MMA where each fighter are trying to put the fight where they want it. And you can see Kess is just trying to get the grip and get the takedown and this is a real battle, like a chess piece match here, where one slight adjustment by either can allow either Solomon Simon to get out of position and reverse it just as he did, or allow Kessler to get the takedown. Excellent work by Solomon Simon up against the cage. Hands a nice right hand off that as well. Solomon just got to be careful. He left that left hand a little low as Kess came back with a right hand. Exchange of kicks. Solomon just trying to do a little bit of work behind that jab. Maybe set up his kicks. Looks like he has that right hand holstered and ready to fire. Catches the kick and fires the right hand down the pipe. Lead right hook there landed as well. Just more on the gloves though by Solomon Simon. Kess is looking for body kicks and each time he throws a kick, you can see Simon is just trying to catch the kick and return a counter. You can see Simon is starting to beat where the fight is. That, that almost looks like a hurt. Kessie sort of sat back in his heels as that shot landed. In fact, he's running for the takedown after that. Probably signals it did. Big exchange, both fighters just moved their head off center line and threw their right hand. Both landed, it looked like Simons maybe had more significance on it. I love that little teep to the body as well, that really can take away the gas tank as well of your opponent. Simon looks quite calm, comfortable in there. Kess tries to spin, he was a bit too close to his opponent to try that technique. Superman punch leads in for Solomon Simon. And Kess ends up on his back there, but interesting first round. You see Solomon Simon definitely had the better of it and very cool and composed in there, Solomon Simon. An interesting first round. I think the judges would nod that one to the team right now, man. Second round just about to get underway here between Kess and Solomon Simon. Solomon Simon in the blue shorts, Kess in the black shorts. Cage Legacy 8 here in Nuri, our second visit here from our promotion. Nice combination. See, Kess, he gets a little desperate and rushes takedowns, and that's allowing Solomon Simon to create angles and counter and land strong, significant shots. I'm really impressed by Simon's composure for somebody, I believe this is his MMA debut here this evening, and he's 
He's quite calm and relaxed. Nice change of angles coming in for the shots. Lees with the lead right hand. Let's see him mix up. I just as about to say, let's see him mix the body. He goes to the body. And it's almost like by the time Kess is swinging back. DJ just decided to play a song mid round. But as I was saying, you can almost see that when Kess is trying to come forward, by the time he's thrown his combination, Solomon Simon has landed his scoring shots and is out of there. So he's just swinging a wild air. And again, that's exhausting. Throwing a shot and missing your target. But a very impressive performance here by Solomon Simon. That was a big hand, a big right hand landed on the temple of Kess that backs him up. And Solomon Simon. He's just not crowding his work, he's picking his shots. And again, that shows the composure of the young man. He knew he had Kess hurt, but he didn't go charging in. He's not hunting the finish. If the finish is there, it will come. Again, catches the kick, Solomon Simon. Gets caught again, just a foul. A low blow, and Johnny Shields is just putting Kess into a neutral corner. And again, Solomon Simon will have five minutes of recovery. It's a bit hard on Solomon Simon because it was almost Kess was hurt. You could see that big right hand that landed on the temple had really hurt Kess. And you felt that maybe if, if Solomon Simon kept that pressure up and the finish was coming. So this foul, as unintentional as it was, unintentional as it was, has definitely helped Kess here. Simon says he's ready to go. And we're back underway. And how much has Kess recovered from that shot? He looks all right at the moment. He's thrown some combinations. And every time he throws a kick, Solomon Simon catches it. Gets it to the mat now. It's beautifully sides and knee pass into it. side control. Excellent work, Solomon Simon. Controls the position again. If you look at his knee position up against the hip and the elbow. And he's working maybe here on it. An Americana, I can't see it from this side. And Kess is just trying to stuff his own arm in between his legs, and this looks tight now. Solomon Simon in a good position, trying to work that arm. Johnny Shields having a close look. Looks like he's got out of that now. Your 10 second clapper goes. Nice knee to the body, but again, a big round by Solomon Simon, the Team Rhino man, really putting a stamp on this bout. Johnny Shields just clearing the cage here, and we're getting ready for the third round. I've been nothing but impressed by Solomon Simon so far in this one. Kess has it all to do here in the third round. He's been coming out sort of wild and... Trying to really force the fight while Simon is just stepping up and you can see it again. Catch this time, gets closer to the distance, gets the body lock this time. You can see the phonetic desperation maybe mode here setting in. The Spartan man is trying his best, but he's in a bad position and Solomon Simon takes full advantage of that and is now in side control. Just as he was about to step on knee on belly, Kess just raised the left knee up just to stop that. So good awareness there by Kess on the bottom. But is he just prolonging it? You can see Solomon just setting up the position. It wouldn't surprise me here if he maybe tried to trap the arm and go for that Americana Kamara again. Kess rolls. Solomon with him and ends up in full mount. Kess must be feeling no matter what I do here. Solomon seems to have my number. And again, Solomon just trying to get his nice position here and posture up and land shots down Kess is trying to throw the hips up and reach the legs around to change position might slip out the back door here Simon staying heavy heavy hips here is needed and big punishing shot there by Simon on top and he might start sneaking up high maybe look for an arm here or is he happy just to 
Stay in this position, posture up and land some heavy shots. He's winning the fight. He doesn't need to put himself in danger. Maybe going for the arm. Trying to tie in a body triangle, but Kess does very well. And Sibby, but Solomon Simon tried to get the reversal and does. Brilliant work. It looked like Kess was almost out, but Simon rolled with him and ends back up in full mount. Excellent attempt by Kess on the bomb to try recover position, but it just seems, as I said, that it, every time he does something, that Solomon Simon just has his number and is one step ahead. Tough, tough position here for Kess. He is trying, and Solomon Simon starting to unleash shots now. He turns his back and look for the hooks maybe to go in a Simon and look for that neck. Botox crossing his legs. Got to be careful of the cross legs, though. But he's looking for that choke and crosses the legs. Can't see my position if he's under that neck. Unfortunately, he's not, and he's just, again, abandons the choke and sits beautifully up into the mount again. So great awareness as well by Simon. Didn't just go for the rear naked choke and throw all hope at it he, he knew it wasn't there and just got back into mount position excellent awareness again by the team Rhino man be interesting to see what way the judges score this because this could easily be a 10-8 round here for Solomon Simon and again he's the coolest man in the building literally looks like he's walked down the shops for a pint of milk Excellent, excellent performance by Solomon Simon. He's shaking his head and he's unhappy with it, probably because he didn't get the finish, but that was an incredibly impressive performance. Hold your head up, Paul, young man. That is a young man to keep your eye out. Remember that name, Solomon Simon.